doctors are working on ways to treat COVID-19. And one thing that they have found is helping is vitamin C. So joining us right now to talk about this and how it can help, what it does to our body is Dr. Kendra becker Mosante. Dr. Kendra, thanks so much for being with us. It's good to have you back on the show. I hope that Thank all you of so you much. and your family are doing well. First off, COVID-19 is a virus, so with most viruses, antibiotics just doesn't seem to have an effect. So how is vitamin C helping? Well, what's beautiful about vitamin C is, it first of all, it's been around for thousands of years. Second of all, we've known it as a very potent immuno booster and immunomodulator for years and years. Vitamin C has always been very effective against viruses. And so an enveloped virus like the SARS coronavirus is it kind of falls into that category. So the other thing that's really nice and great about vitamin C right now is in the, in the throes of this pandemic, we also have people that are struggling with seasonal allergies allergies. And vitamin C is immeasurably helpful for seasonal allergies. It does a whole lot of things that are beneficial to the body. And one of the most exciting aspects of what we're seeing with vitamin C is the amount of time that it's able to reduce ventilator times for patients that are uh, in the hospital. So we're seeing research that's come out of China South Korea, and I believe one of the European countries that's showing that we can reduce ventilator times up to 25%. That IV, that vitamin C is given IV, it's not given by mouth, but there was another study that was registered back in March, I believe also out of China, that showed that a combination of both IV vitamin C and oral vitamin C was very, very effective in the prevention and the treatment of coronavirus. So those things are really, really exciting because, you know, as the president had referenced and and certainly his medical experts were looking for a treatment that is tried and true and really really safe and so you know to be able to have a study that shows that here's one here the administration shortened the length of of inpatient hospital uh, visits by almost 10 percent with using 2,000 milligrams of IV vitamin C so we're not even really talking about a whole lot of vitamin C we're talking about a relatively small amount and so it makes it really nice and really effective and relatively inexpensive to be able to help patients both in their home that are suffering, possibly preventatively, and certainly in the end stage acute phase with corona. So it's, to me, it's very exciting. First came out about doctors starting to treat patients with vitamin C a couple weeks ago. And a lot of people may have been heading out to get vitamin C for themselves, for their families. Is that what we should all be doing right now just to boost our immune system sort of just in case? Well, certainly vitamin C is a, is a very potent immune uh, booster. It's also really safe, according to the research. It's been around a really long time. The word of caution is too much vitamin C may give you some diarrhea. So you want to be kind of careful and mindful about the dose for you individually. But it's certainly safe for adults. It's certainly safe for children. It's certainly safe in pregnant women. And it's a matter of, of what our bodies may need to be able to enhance our immune system. Some patients need a a small amount, others may need a larger amount. So certainly including vitamin C in your diet with vitamin C rich foods is incredibly beneficial at a time like this. And the other thing that vitamin C helps with is collagen, right? And I hope you took some after your knee surgery, but it helps, you know, build and balance, build and enhance collagen. So if we have collagen stores or collagen, or we have collagen stores in our cell membranes, and that helps keep our cells together, which helps them from ripping over open and leaking histamine. And histamine is what gives us our seasonal allergies. Histamine is also part of the problem that we're seeing in end stage SARS corona, where we're seeing these patients that are just having really, really poor lung compliance. So it's beneficial in all regards. And doctor, real quick, we have to wrap this up, but what would you say a dosage that would be good for an adult? And then what about for a child? So the research is reflecting, it's all anecdotal, of course, but the research is reflecting a dose of somewhere between one and two grams a day of, a, and, and truly the research is on ascorbic acid. There's a, a bunch of varieties of different types of, of vitamin C, but the research has really solely focused on ascorbic acid. And so that number is around one to two grams a day. Children would be less based on their weight, of course. All right, Dr. Kendra Becker-Mosanti, thanks so much for being with us here on the program. We're